Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're on the beaches of Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. And today we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Punta Cana. And I'll be honest with you, you, you don't really have to worry about too much when you're here because this is such a relaxed and chill destination. I can see why millions of tourists come here just to relax and have a good time. But I, I gotta tell you, to help yourself have a good time when you first arrive, I've got two don'ts to start off with. One, don't forget to arrange your hotel accommodation pickup from the airport before you get here. Because if you fly to Punta Cana, honestly, it can be a bit um, hair raising, crazy, when you get out through immigration and everything and you get to where all the taxis are and you wanna ride and all this kind of stuff and it can be a bit overwhelming. And if you already have your ride already set up, it makes life so much easier. So talk to your hotel, your accommodation, your resort, they'll help you have a ride arranged which will make life a lot easier, okay? And then before you actually get that taxi, my next don't for you is don't freak out about the immigration line. You will come out of your plane and you will see an crazy snaking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth line. And you hear rumors it takes three hours, four hours, something like that for it. Look, I won't lie to you, the line is long, but it does move rather quickly. We were in it for 38 minutes and it was pretty much three quarters of the way full when we got in but they get people through relatively quickly. So don't freak out about it. No, it's gonna take time, but it's not as long as you think it's gonna be. But I will tell you, if you wanna pay, they have a VIP service that will let you skip that line and you can go like in a little waiting lounge where they get your bags and stuff and they'll do the passport things for you. But that is not cheap, okay? I know just for the, we get you around immigration, no like departure lounging kind of stuff or arrival lounging kind of stuff was $150 per person, okay? So be aware of that, all right? Now, when you're looking at accommodation here in Punta Cana, I gotta tell you, don't expect anything except for all-inclusive resorts. I mean, it's like 80, 90% of the res of the space is here for you to stay, it's all-inclusive, okay? So that's why it's really important you don't forget to do your research on the all-inclusives you're looking to stay at because there's definitely a different feel each of the different ones, just like anywhere in the world. You have different feels when it comes to the all-inclusives. We're here at the Barcelo Bavaro, and actually this one's got a good combination of adult spaces, kids spaces, water slides, mini golf, pickleball, tennis. There's all kinds of stuff for all of us, and that's why I picked this one, because there's something for us and the kids when we come here, which is really, really nice. But honestly, some of these here have much more of an adult vibe. Some have more of a kid vibe. Some have more of a party vibe. So don't forget to do your research, because that can have a really big impact on your time here. Now, when you're coming to the Dominican Republic, something I think you need to remember is, don't forget to pack a lot of singles when you come here. Look, the US dollar, you can use this here, no problem. Yes, there is the Dominican peso you can use here, but honestly, every you go in Punta Cana, they take dollars, they'll get it for you, no problem. You can pay with credit cards. More places here than the other places around the island, but you wanna have singles. The reason why is you don't wanna forget to tip. And having those singles to tip for a drink here and there, you're all inclusive. A drink when you go on your excursions, tipping your guides, having those small bills makes it a lot easier, a lot cheaper on your tipping than if all you have are 10s and 20s because that's a huge tip is a 20 or a 10, okay? So definitely don't forget those singles, but don't forget to tip the people as well because it does make a difference. Now, another thing I gotta tell you, if you're gonna be coming here, like I said, most of the accommodation is all inclusive. And I gotta tell you, don't lose your wristband. You lose this wristband, one, Someone might know where you're staying, haha, but also someone just come in with it and then they get to stay and eat for free and drink for free and enjoy the stuff for free. And, and the, the all don't like that. So they're gonna charge you. I know here, if I lose this, it's 50 bucks. If my kid loses his, it's 50 bucks, okay? I've gone to other ones that have higher prices if you lose this, so do be aware of that. So don't lose that wristband. And if you're like, oh, I wanna take it off at night, just don't, don't, because you're gonna lose it. You're gonna break it, you're not sure. If it does come off, you have it, go to the front desk and get a new one, have them put it back on so you don't have that crazy feed. Now, when you are coming here, one thing I gotta say is don't feel you really have to explore a lot of Punta Cana, the city. You're gonna do excursions, and I'll talk about that later, but you're gonna spend a lot of time here at your resorts, and there are usually a lot of restaurants at the resorts, okay? But what I wanna tell you is don't forget to make your dinner reservations right when you come in. When you do your check-in, ask them, hey, where can I make dinner reservations? at your nicer restaurants at these resorts because if you don't make the reservations, they, they book out and you might just be eating the cafeteria buffet all the time, which can be fine, 
But if you're here, you want to have, I want to try the French food. I want to have the fancy Dominican food. I want to have the fancy Spanish food instead of waiting in line in the cafeteria, slop, slop. I mean, it's not always slop, but you know what I mean? Now, when you come to Putacana, one thing I want to tell you is don't forget to bring all your beach extras. So you're going to want to have your sunblock, your bug spray, your hat, your flip flops, maybe some, you know, sand stuff to play with the kids because those things to resorts are very expensive. I mean, it's funny, going to buy a polo shirt at the shop here at the resort was almost the same price as back at the US. However, the sunblock was triple the price of back at the US. So do be aware of that. So don't forget to pack the little beach accoutrement when you come, because you're gonna wanna make sure you have some of that because that can raise the price a little bit faster when you're here because honestly, don't think you're gonna spend a lot of money when you come to Punta Cana. It actually is a very affordable place. I see why so many people come here time and time again because there it is really affordable when you're going to go do things all right and and to make it more affordable one more thing i have for you with the, the money thing is um don't forget to negotiate if you're out talking to reps about getting an excursion or doing things or or going shopping not not like not at jumbo at the mall but like other kind of smaller stores don't be afraid to negotiate to see if maybe you can lower the prices because honestly the excursions you will meet people that paid $150 for the excursion and people have paid $60 for the excursion and if they find out they get a little upset so you might want to negotiate a little when you are looking at those things and that's a that's a Dominican Republic wide thing is don't be afraid to negotiate now when you are here in Punta Cana one thing I got to tell you in anywhere in the Dominican Republic you don't drink the tap water I mean straight up don't drink it don't drink it if you're going to the resorts and they have water they give you at dinner that's going to be filtered water you'll be okay but the straight tap water do not drink that stick to the bottled water um, the ice is usually okay at the resorts because it's in a filtration system, but do be aware of that because you do not want to have tummy trouble when you're here. You want to be enjoying the beaches, not the bathroom. Now, when you do come here, one of the things you're going to spend money on are the excursions. There's a lot of really great excursions here you can do from Putacana. Now, I got to tell you this. Uh, don't think all the excursions are really close by. Now, if you're going to do the sea aquarium or the zip line, yeah, that's right here in Putacana, very easy. But if you're going to go to uh, Sona Island, I mean, Sona Island, it is a 12 hour experience to spend two and a half hours actually on the island because it's not close by. Punta Cana is here at the edge of the island. So if you want to go to Santo Domingo, you want to go to Sona Island, it takes time to do that. So you're going to spend the entire day with that. OK, so be aware of that when you're planning your excursion. So maybe don't do that full day excursion thing the day before you leave. Do it before. So your last day, you could come on the beach and just chillax here in Punta Cana. Now, if you're looking to get around with the Kata, one thing I'll tell you is um, don't expect the taxis to be cheap, but the taxis can at least come up and drop you off at your resort. Whereas the Ubers, yeah, don't expect the Ubers to be able to come up to your resort and drop you off. So do be aware of that. So the Uber might be cheaper, but if you have to factor in your like kilometer long walk from the entrance to your resort to where you're staying, that might influence your payments. But honestly, man, the taxis here, they're, they're crazy expensive. Now, I know I mentioned some excursions you could do from here, and they are great, and you should do them, but I will say this. A lot of people come to Punta Cana just to totally chillax, and that's why I gotta say, don't feel bad if you don't leave your resort, because they literally give you stuff to do all day long. Whether you want the gym, you want the, the pool workouts, you wanna play pickleball, golf, swim, beach. I mean, there's Spanish lessons here too you can take, so don't feel bad if you don't go, but it's still, I think it's cool if you could like go zip lining or maybe go do some whale watching or something go fishing. I mean, you have excursions, but don't feel bad if you don't go on one. Now, when you are here in Punta Cana, one thing I've really enjoyed doing is actually talking to the locals when I'm here. And that's one thing I want to say is don't skip out on talking to the locals, whether it's the lifeguard, the bartender, the guys, the people you meet, because the people here are actually super friendly. But the thing is, um, don't forget to learn a little Spanish before you come, because that's how you're going to speak to a lot of people when you're out and about, especially on your excursions because a lot of the tourists that are here are from Central America, South America as well, Spain. We've met some really nice tourists, but the locals are great and English is not all over the place, okay? Now, don't worry if you don't speak Spanish because all the resorts, everyone will speak English to have that help you out so you'll be okay there. But honestly, I've been surprised when I've talked to the workers here and they're all like, wait, you speaking Spanish with me? Thank you so much. And they're so happy and it's helped us get a beach chair where there was no other beach chairs, a little bit nicer drink where there was no other drinks available. So those kind of things can help out. So meet the locals and, and practice that Spanish. The English is gracias, which is thank you. And por favor, which is please, it can go a long way. And, and when you are talking to the people and you are meeting the people when you come here, one thing I gotta help you realize is when you come to Putacana, don't forget it's island time. And when I say island time, 
people who come late, they do things late. You order something, it might take a little bit longer. They say they're on their way. That doesn't mean they're on their way right now. So you want to be aware of that because I have seen some tourists get upset because of that. So I don't want you to be upset. Just know it's island time. It takes a little bit more time for certain things. But probably my biggest disappointment when it comes to coming to Putacara and going to all the inclusive resorts is this. Don't expect to get a lot of Dominican food when you are staying at the resorts here because they go for more international food. So you might have a, a Mexican restaurant, an Italian restaurant, a Spanish restaurant, a sports bar, and not as many Dominican options. So what I want you to do is ask when you go out to eat or when you're making your reservations, which place has the Dominican fare that I can have and enjoy because maybe I want to have tres golpes. Maybe I want to have, you know, some of the stews that are here. Maybe I just want to enjoy the plantains that are fried up and so tasty. I mean, it's just tostones. Give me some tostones. These kind of things, a little bit harder to find when you are at the resorts. Now, let's go back to that packing thing. Um, one thing I'm gonna say is don't forget to bring like a big cup or a big mug from home because when you go to the resorts, they give you free drinks, but it's in a cup like this. If you want to fill up your nice big drink, bring your Yeti, bring your water bottle, reusable water bottle. I mean, we have our Walters World ones that help us out because that can make it so you don't have to go like 10 times to the bar. You go one time to the bar and be just as happy. Now let's get back to those excursions I talked about. One thing I want to say is don't think that the excursions are different if you buy them from different places. Because if you're going to go to Sea Aquarium, you're going to do the Dolphin Island stuff, you're doing the exact same thing each time. So just know that whether you buy it from, you know, uh, your, your, your vendor or from your resort, you're all going to do the same thing. If you're going out to Sona Island, you're all going to take buses to go to another bus station. You all get on another bus to take you there. It, it, it doesn't really matter so much where you get the tickets from, but do make sure it's from an officially licensed tour guide or tour company to get them. That's what's important. Oh, a thing you need to remember when you're flying to Putacana, you have to fill out forms before you fly into the Dominican Republic that has information about where you're staying, your passport, your flight information. So you have your arrival information, but also there's also a departure one as well. But the arrival one you have to do before you fly. So when you're checking at your airport, if you haven't filled it out, they'll let you know, hey, where's the form? And you can just have it as a PDF on your phone when you fill it out. It takes about 10 minutes to do if you're a family. You all fill out the same form, it all comes together. So that's pretty nice. So we did that actually at the airport before we came, just because it was just simple and quick and no big deal. But don't forget to do the one when you leave as well. And I will say these requirements may be different depending when you're watching this video, because you know, entry X requirements kind of change over time. So do be aware of that. And one of the things people really enjoy about coming to put the condo when they come to the Dominican Republic is you don't have to worry about your safety as much as in other parts of the Dominican Republic. I mean, it is a lot safer here because there's so many tourists, they're making sure the tourists are okay because people know if something bad happens to one tourist, that means there's a thousand tourists that won't come and that's not going to put food on our table. So it is a bit safer here, which is nice. If you're at your resort, you can walk by the beach. But if you're in town, obviously use your usual safety things. Don't go alone at night. Don't walk on the beach at night unless you're at one of your nicer resorts. Do be aware of that. Don't wear your bling when you're out, so be aware. And I think that's something actually I need to mention is don't forget to bring at least one nice outfit if you're gonna be staying at these all-inclusive resorts because some of them have, you know, uh, dress requirements to go to dinner. So do be aware that they might not let you in with flip-flops and sandals. And even if you do bring those singles to tip, they're not gonna let you in. So remember, don't forget, bring a lot of singles when you come and don't forget to tip your, your bartenders, your waiters at your all-inclusives, your room staff, your guides, because it does make a big difference in their incomes if you do tip. That's why don't forget to bring a lot of singles when you come here, all right? So I hope this helps you get ready for Punta Cana. If you wanna learn more, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. And I'll say bye from here in the Dominican Republic.